The prom committee will host to help the elves fill the shelves. We will be donating gifts for Christmas to the homeless. Please stop by the main office to get the list of items that are needed to make and that are needed to make a less fortunate family happy. Please drop off gifts in the main office. For more information, please see Miss Leak in the main office. Please join FBLA in a campus-wide cleanup on this Saturday from 9 to 11 a.m. FBLA members will be coming together to clean up on Saturday after the Friday night football playoffs. Come show your hornet pride by helping to make the campus look its best. I knew that when I was in high school that I was going to be a teacher. Um, my mentor teacher at, uh, in, in Roxborough, she's the one that told me that got into the FTA, the Future Teachers of America Club that she ran. And um, so she's like, you know, you need to be a teacher. And I was like, I'm going to be a teacher. You probably will see rhetorical questions and hypothetical questions. I do also see, if you're going to see rhetorical questions, you may very well see the answers to those rhetorical questions, which is called my Fafara, yes. That was really painful. <laughs> I swore that I would never teach high school because they were so disrespectful. I was like, I want to teach elementary school, and then I was um, dead set on teaching middle school because that would be like the best of both worlds because you teach English and you're still not so snotty. No, 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 no. That's a complete lie. <laughs> Bless middle school teachers because it takes a special breed and it's not this cat. What is our prompt set? What are you doing? She brings fire to our class every day. She makes us laugh. She makes us enjoy doing English. She just makes it interesting and fun and we do better because it's interesting and fun. And I, we appreciate that. My mom, she told me, she's like, Megan, you know, um, you have to teach high school. And I was like, oh, I don't teach in high school. Um, and she told me, she said, because that's the last chance that kids have is in high school. She's like, and if somebody can't get to them before they leave high school, they're gonna be lost forever. She's probably very um, optimistic and she's very um, intelligent and she's very, um, like I said, hardworking. I like English because it doesn't have to be black and white. It can be written whatever you think it is, as long as you can support it. And um, there's so many pig paths and there's so much depth to some of the things that people say and why they say it and, and all of this. And when I was in high school, that's where I actually started to learn about it. And because, oh, it opened up a whole new realm for me. I was like, oh, so it means this, or it could mean this. You're like, mm -hmm. no. They're like, yeah. I'm like, that's pretty cool stuff. English is a warm, fuzzy, touchy-feely area, and we're so not used to that anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the other reasons I like English so much, is that, you know, we can talk about real stuff because we're not robots yet, and hopefully we won't become them. were sophomores uh, and I was trying to kind of help you guys figure out if you wanted to go into AP. I gave you guys the option of reading Julius Caesar. Amir came in um, and at that time I only had a few of the Julius Caesar books and the uh, the agreement was that if you don't want to do Julius Caesar that's okay but you were going to be on Study Island I think. But I saw Amir come in and then everyone else was doing their bell ringer or whatever it was. And I was like, where's a mirror? And I couldn't find him. And I was getting ready to be angry. I was like, come on, a mirror. Like, what are you doing? 
and um, his head popped up in the back room. And I, and I was getting ready to go. And I was like, dude, I need you to do your stuff. And I came back here and he was reading Julius Caesar. And I was like, seriously? What you, like, person, kid who had no interest whatsoever in Julius Caesar, like in Shakespeare, none of that. Um, and, I, and I was like, you know, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm reading. You know what? You are. This class has had an immense impact on me in ways that I just can't even explain. First, it's just made me just like have a deep yearning for knowledge and just me wanting to go further in knowledge and reading and writing and stuff. Um, it makes me want to be an author or a writer. It just makes me want to um, um, grow in literature. Um, also, just like academically, it's made me want to pursue education more in the ways that before I went to Miss or before I joined Miss Wright's class, I really wasn't sure about college, but she kind of pushed me. She was like, okay, you have to go to college, you have to get this education. So that's the kind of impact it's had on me. This class has like really pushed me like beyond, I guess my comfort zone and academically it's pushed me to make me want to, I guess not make me, but it's allowed me to appreciate so much more about myself, not just um, academically, but just in almost a, every as aspect. Um, I really just want to thank you, Ms. Wright, for everything that you've done, because to be honest, without this class, I probably wouldn't have pushed myself as much as I have been. And I feel like overall, it's just made me a better person, really. She's helped me through a lot. She knows I've been through a lot, especially last year. And it just, I have so much love and respect for her as a person, as well as a teacher. She, she makes me feel so welcome and included in the class. Who's been to a Me. How long does it take? If it's only her, it's probably like 15 minutes. Like, like, yeah. like, if they make a big deal out of it, then it's going to be 15 minutes. Because I remember football last year, seven people signed, and it was like 15, 20 minutes. Please. I always tell people about when, like we went to, so last year's seniors, when we went to state. The goal was to for them to take their To Kill a Mockingbird papers. And, uh, have the NC State students work with them and in turn they would teach the state students who were English years getting ready to go out and student teaching about teaching and <clears throat> so the kids you know and <laughs> they were so they were so lazy I was like why I thought we're gonna go there tomorrow and you're gonna give this little piddly kahoot to NC State teachers and I'm gonna be laughed out the thing. <laughs> but we went there, and every single one of those little noodles told the NC State teachers about how to teach. Um, and it was a very humbling and a very gratifying experience because, and they weren't, it wasn't like a, a sycophantic escapade because the teacher asked them, like, well, how do you know that this is what a good teacher does? And I'm like, because she does it. Like, she's the one that comes to our games. She's the one that works with us and bakes us cookies and knows when we've not done our homework and knows why we've not done our homework. They're like, you need to get to know your kids. They're like, because that's what makes a difference. I don't ever think that I felt as, um, like, uh, appreciated or recognized, maybe, as I did that day. definitely comes to the games. I'd be seeing her sometimes uh, in the stands, you know, I don't know how, what she'd be saying or, you know, but she does support uh, her students and whatever activities they may be involved in, so.
got some issues, but Scott makes it handles our business well, and that's just the last thing I'll say. We've had several All-Americans, at least people on the All-American list, and there's some rare qualities those kids have. Right? How many nights I was going to be staying up, writing essays, doing all this extra work. But it's going to pay off in the long run, okay? I have faith that it will. When you teach, you don't know if your hard work pays off. Like, kids go away, and um, they don't necessarily see how much work or how hard you work or for whatever reasons um, to put into that and um, but <clears throat> that day they showed me that they did and that was a like a, probably the best day of my life You sacrifice a lot of time, and a lot of effort, and a lot of sleep, and a lot of other things, and you don't ever know if it's gonna pay off. I knew it paid off then. I get to come in and I get to see 15 little lights, 14 little lights. You get to see that, and like, it, it makes things worth it. I know I've been saying thank you a lot, but really and truly, thank you, Miss Wright, um, for like the last three years. They've really been the, not the best three years, but really the best three years because of you. And um, I don't know what I would do without you. Like, thank you. So, Miss Wright, I just want to say thank you for being an inspiration to me. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being so much more than just a teacher. Um, thank you for seeing me as more than just a, little, a troubled child or someone who just doesn't listen or doesn't do his work. Something like for like seeing my purpose and then trying to attain that purpose and um, for just like seeing me more than just what other teachers have seen me. Thank you.